All right, guys, we're outside at my 2014 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. I've got my gloves, I've got the bulbs there, and I've got my socket set. I won't be using my cell phone, but it's here too, just in case, you know, I need it for something. There we go. As you can see, there are some eight millimeter sockets in here, little things we're gonna take out to access the panel. Let's go. Okay, so I've got the dust cover, uh, whatever this is, little thing back. So I wanna show you this too, if, I, if you can see it. There is the fog light. And this dust cover right in there is where the headlight is. So we're gonna take that out right now. You just twist counterclockwise to undo the dust cover, undo the dust cover and you're good to go. Okay, so I've got the dust cover off. It took about a quarter turn to get it to come off. I do not have that uh, silicone anti-water pack in here, as you can see. I don't know why, but it's not in there either. But the bulb's uh, exposed, so I'm about to put the gloves on and change it out. Okay, so I've got the first bulb out on the driver's side. So that's what the bulb looks like. It was, it did have a little, uh, little way to hold itself, lock itself on there right there with that little tab. So I just used, you know, a thumbnail to pry the tab and then pick up on this or take it away, if you will. And that got it free. So now on to these boys because those headlights on this Jeep are absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible at night. It's like, you know, it's like an afterthought. It's like I'm driving with fog lights, which is terrible. So let's see what we can do. Look at those boys. Let's see how they compare. All right, so I've got it in there. I know it's hard to see. It's hard for me to see. All right, but anyway, it's right there. It's plugged in. So about to start the Jeep and see if we got any error codes. Hold on. Okay, so I got the Jeep started and I do not have any error codes as you can see. We're good so far. Okay, and I wanna apologize if you hear my neighbor is power washing and my dogs are barking. So good times are had by all on this one. But on the other side, you just do the same thing. I'm too lazy, so I didn't change my wheel out. I'm gonna see if I get any more room with it turned outward instead of inward. And it's just the same process. These things are supposed to help you change out your bulbs, but nobody ever does that. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, just like I did a while ago, let's go. Okay, so I ended up turning the wheel because it made it a little easier to get this out and pry this and all that. Plus, um, it gives me a little bit more room on the access for this bulb. This bulb's gonna be a little trickier because I don't have as much room, I feel like. All right. Okay, so the passenger side was a you know what. And the reason being is because it's a little tighter fit in here, like I said, to get that going. So you're kind of reaching blindly to do this. Now this is on my 14 Trailhawk. I don't know if it'll be any different for yours, um, but I want to start the engine, see if I get any codes or errors or whatever. And if I don't, then I'll come out here at night and we'll try the headlights and see the difference between the before and after. All right, let's see what I got. All right, let's see, I have no error codes. Yep. I see the headlights. I'm gonna put the cover back on and we'll check with you guys at night. These are the low beams. Those are the high beams. All right, guys, here we are with the LEDs installed, the beam techs. Uh, they are brighter. These are the low beams. Those are the high beams. Okay, there's the regular bulbs that came with it. That's the LEDs. I actually paid a little less than $39 for those. They had a little coupon, which I think was 10% or 20% or something. It wasn't that much. But I believe 
that as you can see in the pictures that I have up there of all four high beams, low beams, original, and the beam techs, the beam techs win. They just produce more light. I also went with the beam techs because the beam techs gave me plug and play. Uh, there was no boxes or any other thing or modding the light bulbs or modding the, the dust cover, the housing, if you will. It was just plug and play. I love that. I absolutely love that. And I just, I know I'm going to enjoy driving at night because I know the headlamps that came with or the light bulbs that came with the Jeep, the 14, were terrible. They were an orange, low, as you can see in the pictures, really, really kind of dull. The beam techs are going to take care of that. I haven't had any uh, errors or warnings or messages on my dash or anything like that as you saw in the video. I'd give them, you know, definitely a five star, two thumbs up, whatever you want to call this. They're just great bulbs.